Hey, Kevin from kevinsguides.com here to talk about Joomla 4 template development. This is the last video in the main series where we will be discussing how to package and rename or refactor or brand our template. So the agenda is to back up the old template, come up with a new template name, rename all the files and instances of J4 starter in file names and the code itself. We'll update template details, XML, and we will package and test the newly updated template. So to begin here, I'm going to back up my existing template. And this is definitely a good first step because we're going to be modifying the file names and some code across a lot of different files here. So if you make any major mistakes, you're gonna to wanna to have a backup just in case. I'm going to my site root, and what I'm actually going to do is just on my desktop, I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm just going to call that backup. And this is very similar to how we're actually going to make the archive itself um, when we get to the end here. But what I want to do is copy all of the language files. So we'll just start here, language, ENGB, and I have my two template files, template J4 starter, template J4 starter. I'm gonna put a new folder in my backup language and I'm just gonna paste those in there. Now this is not going to be installable this way. I would have to manually remember where to put all these files back when I come back if there was an issue. But for the sake of simplicity, we can just leave it like this. So we have language, media, and if I go to template site, J4 starter, I'm just going to copy all those into the media folder. And I'm going to get the main template itself from the templates directory, J4 starter. And I will just copy those into this root directory here. So this is actually how we're going to make the package at the end, almost down to the... It's almost exactly right other than the language file. But anyway, let's go ahead and zip this up, back up. And now I have that backed up for later. If I make any mistakes, I can just put those files back where I found them. And everything should go back to working the way it was. Next, I want to come up with a name for this new template. And let's see, the template is... It's kind of got hints of this emerald green. So maybe instead of J4 starter, I want to call this template emerald, emerald green. Why not? Simple enough. So let's open up... The, actually, let's open up the entire Joomla directory from the site root. So I'm, if you have a workspace saved, you could just open that up. If you already have it up and running, you could just use that. But anyway, the goal here is to rename everywhere it says J4 Starter. We want to rename that to our new name. So instead of J4 Starter, I'm going to be calling this template Emerald Green. Easy enough, right? But that word J4 starter appears all over the place. It appears in our index.php code. It appears in our language files. It is uh, literally everywhere. And I want to replace every instance of J4 starter with emerald green. The easiest way to do that is with Visual Studio Code. We can just do search. It has a find and replace feature. So we can search for every instance of J4 starter and it will try to find it all. And so far we've got, we're up to 32. It's gonna probably keep finding a few more. So, okay, 33 results in seven files. I can see my language files have it. My web manifest files have it. My index.php file has it. It's in all these different files. Now it's important that I use a kind of like lowercase name. So I want to use like a lowercase shorthand, like alias type of name here. I don't want to use like, I don't want to replace this all with emerald green like that. I want it to be something that's roughly equivalent to, to the same formatting that I had. So I'm going to just type emerald green all in lowercase, just as it is right there. But before I replace this, I do need to make a few other notes here. We'll see here it's trying to replace J4 starter in caps with emerald green in lowercase. We do not want that. So let's take a look at um, how we can fix that. 
Then we could do match case. That's one way we could do it. This is probably the best way to go about doing it. There is another way, I believe. Um, but let's just do... Okay, it has a preserve case option too, which takes like the capitalized and keeps the capitalized if day four starter here. Um, day four starter keeps the caps at the beginning, makes it just emerald green. So let's see, how do we want to go about doing this? I'm actually going, you can do preserve case. That would probably work fine um, for all intents and purposes. But I do see here, I'm using kind of like this capitalized emerald green template here instead of J4 starter. If we do this manually, we could do match case. And now I'm replacing all the lowercase J4 starters with emerald green. So that is good. So I can do replace all there. So there's 17 occurrences. Okay, and the other one was J4 starter with a capital J, a four, and then a capital S. And here, maybe this is just in those two language files. So here, maybe I'll type out emerald green with the space there. And I will replace those. And then we have to do it with all caps. So J4 S T A R T E R. And here I want it to be. Emerald green, all in caps, and I replace all those as well. Now for our final test here, we will remove that caps match case and make sure there's no other results found. So that is fine and dandy. We have renamed all the files to emerald green where it said J4 starter throughout all the directories on the site. But we also need to rename the file names themselves. And the best way to do that is probably just going to be to do that manually. So I'm going to close out of my VS Code for a minute and go back to my site's root directory. And let's just start. I should not have to do anything with the... Wait, I do need to rename the language file names themselves. So Joomla2 language, a root directory languages, engb, and template j4starter.ini. I need to rename that to template emerald green. And while I'm here, I might as well copy that to my clipboard. And now I can just easily kind of paste that over. I'm sure there's utilities and tools that could do this as well, but there's not a ton of files we need to rename here. So just doing this manually is not going to be too big of a headache. So that was the language folder. Next up is the media folder. And under template sites, we need to rename J4 starter to emerald green or whatever name you decided to go with. And is there anything in any of these files? I do not believe there is. Um, there is that one thing though that we had with the images fav icon. If you watched part B of my last video, you'll want to do this. I'll update the site web manifest. And actually, I forgot since I did that rename, um, it did rename that to Emerald Green there too. Site Emerald Green images, so that is good. So we actually don't have to do anything there. The last folder would be the templates folder under the site root. And we just need to rename J4 Starter to Emerald Green. I'll take a look in here. HTML, is there anything else that uses the text emerald green in the file names? I do not believe there is. For a last order of business, let's open template details with code. And we have the name is emerald green. That is good. Update the version if you want. Take a look. Um, that all looks good to me. So let's close that. And now let's go back to our admin panel, localhost slash doom toot slash administrator in this case for me. I log in. I take a look at my templates. And since I just did that with some new naming conventions, I can go to extensions discover. And we'll see it has emerald green showing up here. Since all the files are already in place, I I should probably just be able to install that as is. Yes. Great. I go back to system. I go back to site template styles. And now I can see um, J4 starter is probably not going to be working anymore since I renamed all those files. Yep, it just went right back to Cassiopeia, the default. But if I set this to emerald green, 
now it should bring back my what was originally the J4 starter template. So that is looking good. All of that is now called Emerald Green instead of J4 starter. If you wanted to customize any of this text further, you would want to do that in the language files. So again, that was under the site root language, language code, and template um, emerald green, emerald green. So these two files here, whatever you name them, you'd want to edit these language in, in those files there. So the last order of business here is really just to package all this up and make sure that it is working. Um, so let's go ahead and do something similar to what we did initially when I made those backups, but this time I'm just going to call this the, I'm going to name this directory tpl underscore emerald green. Hopefully I spelled that right. Good enough. Okay. And since I'm already in the language folder over here, I might as well continue with that and create a language folder. Within that language folder, I'm going to make an en-gb folder. And within that, I'm going to paste my two emerald green language files back in the root directory of this new tpl underscore emerald green that I'm making. I'm going to paste a the media files. So let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like. So if we go to media... Jim Toot Media Template Site Emerald Green. And I'm just going to copy all four of those directories into there. And finally, I'm going to copy over my main template files from Joomla 4's template directory, Emerald Green. And copy and paste those into there. Now, before I zip this up and test it out, let's make sure everything matches the same structure it says in my template details XML file. So I'm going to open up this individual file with code here. And actually, let me make, just kind of move this over so we can see the file folder and the editor at the same time. So I have that in that. Good. Okay, so let's take a look. Under the files tag, I have these three files, index, Joomla asset, and template details XML. And now are all three of those files in my root directory? And yes, they are, so those match. I have the HTML folder that matches media destination equals templates site emerald green and folder equals media. So in the media folder, I have all of these folders, that looks right to me. Then finally for our languages in the language folder, so that matches my language folder here. Um, I have the language files themselves and they follow the same convention en-gb, en-gb, and my two file names. So it looks like all of the files I have in languages, media, and files are matching up with the same exact structure that I have them in this temporary folder that I created. So hopefully if all goes according to plan, I can just zip those all together. And that should be an installable package file now. So let's go ahead and open up a new site. So I actually have another Joomla install here. And that's what I would recommend you doing if you don't already have another site you can test this on other than the one you originally made the template on. Um, you should probably just install a fresh copy of Joomla somewhere. Now I have this extension or this additional site that I made for testing out my quiz component. And you can see that's on Cassiopeia. I have not installed the emerald green template on here as far as I know. So if I log into there and I go to system install, let's just make sure I don't already have the template on here. Okay, good. So the only template in here is Cassiopeia. I go to my extension manager and I go to my desktop 
or the TPL Emerald Green. I take that package or zip file that I created and I just upload that. It says everything there. Installation of the template was successful. It has the text that it pulled from that language file that just came up there. And under site template styles, we have the emerald green blank slash basic site template. If I set that to default and I go back to my homepage, hey, it looks like it was working. Now my naming conventions for modules need to be updated. That's why my sidebar is not showing, but the template itself did load. And if I go into my htdocs under this other directory, I can verify that all of the files are where they are supposed to be. So my, under my templates folder, that all looks right to me. Under my media folder, if we go to templates, site, emerald green, okay, all four of those folders came over all right. And we already saw the language look like it was working fine. But if I go to my language folder, I scroll down, there are those emerald green language files. So that is how you rename and package a template. Now, if I wanted to, I could upload this to a production site and it would be ready to go. If you have an older version of the template somewhere and you want to replace it with a newer version, you could go through that same procedure that I just did and prepare the package that way. Or even if you wanted to sell the template, that would be a final option for you. Now, there are a few other minor things that I want to touch on, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So this pretty much concludes the Joomla 4 template development series. If you want to learn some more specific information about how to do things like how to create custom template options, like style options, um, options that appear under the advanced tab of the template itself that come from the template config, I'm going to have a separate video on doing that. I'm going to have a separate video on the web asset manager and maybe we'll take a look at some other advanced template concepts in the future. So thanks for finishing this. I hope it helped and take care. Bye.